In fact, at the same level that we are standing with a Kalash, this has uh, in it holy water, which he is now pouring down into that particular area. So you've got that fountain, and that's what I was referring to, where the water flows upwards, because the messaging is to ensure that uh, life moves upwards. You never go down in life. You go from down to up. So all of the water moves upward. That's the Prime Minister there. You can see behind me. He's walking in at this point. He is going to be coming here in just a brief bit to also interact with the children and everyone else. But first, he's making his way up to the temple as well. But a beautiful, beautiful moment that you just witnessed, the significance of which is huge. You've got these replicas of sorts of ghats that's been created. But to actually make it holy, to actually make it mean something, for people who come here from across the world, many of whom can't make it to India. They feel, in fact, the importance and how auspicious a moment like this is because you had the Prime Minister emptying holy water into the water that's been placed here, the ghat-like creation along the sides of the temple. The Prime Minister going up now to the temple and, in fact, as we get to all of these live images, he's going to be here next to me any moment now to also interact with all the children, to also interact with all the artisans. Now, up there, uh, the Prime Minister is currently in the temple and uh, he is going to be taking part in several rituals, but first, of course, taking in the sights of that beautiful temple as well. Yogi, why don't you speak to us here about the significance of what the Prime Minister just did, uh, pouring holy water, yes, uh, into the fountains, which will then continue to take it around. So you get a sense of really being by the Ganges here. Exactly. And I think it's, a, it's a, a, an ancient Hindu ritual of pouring the water and uh, the uh, ablation that you're performing there. But what this does is symbolically, it sort of ties together the sacred geography of India. You think of Hindu, uh, the, the Ganga, the Hindu, sacred Hindu rivers such as the Ganga, Yamuna, and Saraswati. And that is sort of brought in to the UAE. So now those rivers and the water of those rivers by the Prime Minister of India is now flowing uh, on this campus. So sort of tying together uh, the two countries um, in, in a sort of sacred sense, if I may. Can you explain to us also what happens next year of the Prime Minister in the temple? So are we going to, the Pran Pratishta is done? was done this so morning. The Prime, Minister now the Prime Minister will now go up and he will perform an arti of the murtis in the mandir, the sacred deities in the mandir, alongside His Holiness Mahan Swami Maharaj, who is the guru of the BAPS Swami Narayan Sanstha and also is a, 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 the administrative thing. Okay. Thank you very much, Yogi, for explaining that to us. So what you're going to see is an arti uh, being conducted, so small puja that will happen within the temple premises. I've told you already how, in fact, there are seven murtis inside, seven idols inside. So uh, the prime minister will be offering prayers at each of these idols and then will come out. So he's going to be there for some time, taking in the breathtaking sights and sounds. Just two days ago, I was inside the temple. If you think it looks beautiful from outside, you must, must see what it looks like on the inside as well, completely made of marble. And in each corner, you have uh, beautiful idols that have been put up. And that gives you a sense of really how much effort, the work that's gone into making this temple what it is today. Inside, it's completely made of marble and the kind of work that's been done. It's also influenced a lot uh, by Arabian design. So it's not completely just Indian Desi designs or a temple design as we're very used to seeing. Uh, you can hear the music also uh, as uh, people are also chanting along. There's music here, everyone's clapping together, feeling the energy of, uh, in fact, what we're seeing right now within the temple. Now, in just some time from now, once the Prime Minister completes his rounds inside the temple and then also completes the artis, he's going to be making his way outside to kind of admire the beauty of the temple and then we'll meet everyone who's had a role to play in this temple uh, uh, becoming a reality as well. So as, in fact, we get you all of these images right now, the Prime Minister, you can hear people clapping because the Prime Minister is walking around the temple right now, uh, taking in the beauty of the architecture of the temple. Uh, there's a lot of cheering here because the people here, the artisans who've gathered, have got their first glimpse of Prime Minister Modi. So they are all, uh, you know, clapping and welcoming the Prime Minister to Abu Dhabi in their own way. So as we get you, in fact, these images of the Prime Minister walking around in the temple, I'm going to slip into a very, very short break. We'll be right back, getting you all the live updates of the Prime Minister's visit right now to the beautiful Baps Hindu Mandir. He's just meters away from me, 
So we'll get you those first images live on India Today on the other side of a very, very short break.